Hello, YouTube. So, I've been telling you about my surgery. I have nine days left before I'm not going to be able to do anything anymore. So, I'm hungry. So, I am contemplating on what I'm going to do with all my time off. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be able to jump in a pool with stitches. So, what do I do next? I mean, I have so many videos that I can keep editing for a year. I know one thing for sure. I'm not going to be wearing any two-piece bikinis for a while. With a big slice down my stomach. That ain't going to look very sexy. So when I was a little child, well, 18 or so, I got this really bad fever. I didn't know what was going on. I thought I had the flu. I went into the emergency room. And my temperature was 104 degrees. <clears throat> when I walked in the emergency room, I seen the people in the emergency room, and I just passed out. Well, the next day I woke up, I had stitches in my stomach. And like, what the hell just happened? Turns out I was so septic that I was close to death. And they removed my appendix. It's not fun. Not fun at all. But I survived. That was my first brush with that. My second brush with that is during COVID. It was November, and I couldn't breathe. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I have really bad asthma, so it's not uncommon for me not to be able to breathe. But this is, this was really bad. It was going on for weeks, and it just kept getting worse and worse. And then one day, I was in the house, and I just felt like I was going to, I just, I just couldn't breathe at all. I had to call the emergency room. Called the ambulance. They came and picked me up. I don't remember much other than telling them I can't breathe. And then I woke up three days later, I was on a ventilator. And still had the tubes in me. And they said, you, you went into respiratory failure and you almost died. So that was my second brush with that. How many lives do people have? It sure is warm out here. I am very close to running out of gas here. Which would not be a good thing. Uh, we're not flashing yet, so. So for the longest time, when I got this motorcycle, it kept dying when I would give it gas from a red light. Well, I turned up the base idle on the on the throttle body. And it hasn't happened since. I didn't turn it up a lot. Just a hair. Hope I don't get rained on. Ah, what road is this? Coconut Creek Parkway. Not the road I'm looking for. Oh. 
I'm just trying to take it easy here. I don't want to kill myself. Before I have to end up in the hospital on the... You know, shit, shit, shit. We're going to go this way. Get some gas and then come back and go the other way. I am in no mood to be pushing my motorcycle down the road when it's 90 degrees outside. Nope, not today. All right, we made it. We are at the farms. Hope this gas pump works. We will find out in just a second. <clears throat> so guys, if you want these cheap motorcycles, these cheap Chinese motorcycles, if you want any motorcycle to last a long time, only put 93 octane in it. The low octanes cause a lot of carbon. $5.71 of premium is 1.5 gallons. And we're off. We're off to Popeyes. Oh. How do we... I need to be able to make a left. These are all right turn onlys. Finally, we can make a left. You know, a lot of people like to give me a lot of grief because I don't wear a lot of clothes on a motorcycle. Well, I'm not doing anything crazy. Sure, you're going to be doing 150 miles an hour down the road pulling wheelies. You better have on some gear. I'm just cruising along. I've been riding motorcycles since I was, I don't know, eight years old. I, my daddy bought me a dirt bike. A little 80cc motorcycle. And that was a lot for an eight year old. That bike would do, I don't know. And thank God I have never been hurt on a motorcycle. I've been hurt on my bicycle. But I respect my motorcycle, so I don't do crazy ass shit on them. You can't control what any of these other people are gonna do around you. You just need to stay away from them. You go flying by cars going hundred miles an hour. You're asking for trouble. But sooner or later, there you someone's going to make a left in front of you or right in front of you. You're going to hit them, and you're going to be on the ground. It's very hard to stop a motorcycle going 100 miles an hour. You're not going to stop on no dime. Did I pass up Popeyes?
Jesus Christ, I hope not. Navigate the Popeyes. I passed it up. Just beautiful. Did you guys see a Popeyes on the right? I didn't see no Popeyes on the right. Alright. Let's try this again. I smell plastic burning. Hope it ain't me. Oh shit. Whoa. And we made it. Let's park in the shade. <clears throat> so I don't burn my ass when I come back out here. All the way over here. And they don't have mashed potatoes. This is the best part of Popeyes. What the fuck? I'm going to go to another Popeyes. If they don't have mashed potatoes, we ain't eating Popeyes today. That's all there is to it. Oh, fuck. It says no U-turn. See if there's another way. Yes, I can make a left over here. Are you guys ready to go on the highway? That's where we're headed. Hope my battery doesn't die. We are at 56% on my X4 battery. We got to get moving here. We are set up for takeoff. And here we go. Damn it. 
keep that damn out of my way. Ah, oh, what an asshole. How exciting was that? See? A lot of people want to put a hating on these Chinese bikes. I don't think they're bad at all. Is it as fast as a ninja? No. It'll keep up. Who's this asshole going? It'll keep up with any other 250cc. Not gonna win the race. Not gonna break your pocket, buddy. Fuck either. This motorcycle is only two thousand dollars. Brand new. All right, let's see if this Popeye's got mashed potatoes. Uh, I don't think I'm heavy enough to pick up this drive through Hello? <sighs> what? No, ordering. You wouldn't... I was standing back there. You weren't answering. You guys have mashed potatoes? Um, I want to, do you have mashed potatoes? Okay. Can I have a two-piece? Yeah. And beans and mashed potatoes? Well, if you, if you get the large, you get two sides, right? But there's a large... Yeah, and a combo. It's fine. Okay. Well, 
and a bean and I want a beans. Small. Uh, Coke. Yeah. I'm not done. I'm not done with my order. I'm a three piece. Mild. What? Mild, yes. Um, I want a large mashed potato. That's it. Huh? No. I need a drink holder though. Uh, park okay. I am totally dying of heat. Holy crap. It is hotter than a witch's tit out here. That took an awful long time. Alright, now let's get home and eat. This sucks. So, there's a commuter train up here. That's slowing us down. Yeah, I have not had any issues today. This motorcycle dying. Come on, you John. Ah, you're sticking up all your racks. What do we do to assholes? We get around them. And here he comes again. God, this traffic is horrible.
<laughs> Just drive! Yes. It's a lucky day. Come on, F-150. Don't just think about it. We are in the home stretch now. Maybe we're just about there. Huh. My battery is almost dead. So that's going to be it for this YouTube. You guys have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!